Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Last week was a busy week and I wasn't able to put a video out and I do apologize for that, but we're gonna get back on track, we're gonna keep moving. I had a revelation in my head about this sketchbook series. Who just wants to see a two minute speed drawing video? I feel like a little commentary could go a long way. I just thought this week would be a good week to share some of my thoughts as I'm drawing, what goes on in my head. I would share some of that with you. The way. I had to take care of a stink bug situation. Anyway, getting into this week's video for the sketchbook series part three, we're going to be talking about dynamic poses. People don't stand still. They're always in motion. You see someone punching something, or you see someone running or jogging or flying or different things. You have to make a 2D still image look like it's in motion. I still have not mastered that yet. And that's something I figured I'd work on this week. I said at the start of this journey is that sometimes you're gonna get the good drawings with the bad drawings. And this I feel is not my best work, but in the wise words of a man named Cash Art on YouTube, which if you haven't seen his stuff, you should check it out. It's not gonna be perfect all the time. Just finish it. I used to not finish my art all the time. You're wasting paper. I have a, I have a full sketchbook of nothing, nothing. And that's what I'm looking to change with the sketchbook. And this character I did for the dynamic sketch you're gonna see is Green Arrow. And I didn't know it was gonna be Green Arrow until about after I drew the face, I knew it was gonna be Green Arrow. Let's get into it. So looking at this drawing, I first wanted to start out with these pencil sketches. And this is pretty much me just trying to come up with the pose. And it took me a few times to figure out what pose I was gonna be happy with. And even then for the final pose, I wasn't too excited about it, but I thought, eh, we'll make it work. I struggle sometimes with knowing how much there room there is on the page. So that's, that's just a struggle for me personally is trying to fit the whole image into the page without it running off. Um, but I wanted to leave this portion in here just to show that sketchbooks don't have to be perfect and your drawing sometimes isn't always gonna be perfect and there's gonna be mistakes, but that's what they make erasers for. So at this point, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the image so far. I was able to find some sort of pose that I was happy with and I thought, oh, this is starting to look really cool. Maybe sort of like a Deadpool warrior sort of thing with swords and everything like that. But then I started inking um, with my little fine liner and the inks weren't really laying on the page the way I wanted them to. So as I was drawing, I was like, oh man, this is starting to look okay. And I'll make him sort of this like Robin Hood. I'll make him Green Arrow. And then my pen wasn't really working too well on the paper or the pen. Something was wrong. So I switched to the thick brush pen, um, which I've always been scared to use because it's like, there's almost no mistakes there. Um, whereas when I'm using a fine liner, I can sort of just, you know, hide them. But as I was using the brush pen, it made me think like more of the piece as a whole, because since there wasn't really room for mistake or something that someone would easily be able to see, it makes you think a lot more of the composition of the piece and just being able to be like, how can I see this from the bigger picture angle? Because a lot of times, especially in my artwork, I tend to focus on one little part of the drawing and then I spend a lot of time on that and I wanna make it look perfect, whereas I know I need to be working on the entire piece. And the brush pen, that sort of scared me because if you mess up once, there's not really a way to fix that. But I feel like this was good practice. I was sort of getting to this point where I wasn't really satisfied with the drawing and the shading wasn't going the way I liked it and different things like that. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna finish it. It's gonna look all right. And that's pretty much what this sketchbook is about. That's how I wanted it to be was not every drawing is gonna be 100%. You're not always going to feel completely happy with, I don't think any drawing you're gonna do. But at the end of the day, just finish it, get it over with. And then, you know, learn from your mistakes mistakes, and figure out how to fix it next time. I wanted to, after I did this whole inking process, I tried to go back in with the fine liner and it wasn't working again. Um, so I sort of gave up on that and I went back in with the brush pen and I always do this little highlight 
I didn't know what I was doing at the end because I was like, oh, is this gonna be Green Lantern, Green Lantern, Green Arrow sort of thing? But I don't know. I just went with it, and then I do these little movement to to show movement, which I hope that's what it conveyed. But anyway, that's that's Green Arrow. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Come back next Tuesday for part number four of the sketchbook series and I hope you learned something or at least we're encouraged that you are not as bad as you think when it comes to art. If you did enjoy the video, please like it and if you wanna see more videos, please subscribe and turn the notification bell on to get notified when I make videos. Thank you for all your support and I'll see you on Saturday. Goodbye.